important new documentary premiered last week, part of the New Culture Forum Heresies series. It's called Trans, Racist and Woke, How Psychology Went Mad. Let's take a look. More and more of us are looking out at our culture and society and feel like we are observing a psychiatric ward. Male rapists in women's prisons, racial segregation in schools, the censorship of books and the rewriting of history. The world's gone mad, many of us cry. But do we even know what madness is anymore? Have our mental health professionals got our best interests at heart? Is sanity still the goal? Or, instead, has the psychiatric profession become a battleground for warring versions of reality with the patient sacrificed and made a casualty of the cause? Now, that film was written and presented by Amy Gallagher, who joins me now. I'm also joined by Dr. Carol Sherwood, who is about to launch her Save Mental Health campaign. Welcome to Amy and Carol. Amy, I'll start with you. Um, now, you presented this film, you wrote this film, mm -hmm. but you have an interesting backstory. Now, you have been on this show to explain yeah. it, but perhaps you could explain it again. You were training as a psychotherapist. Yes, yeah, so I'm a mental health nurse, and I was training as a psychotherapist at the Tavistock and Portman. I was in my final years of, of training as a psychotherapist. And essentially what I saw was that they were teaching critical race theory as if it was a fact. So they sent around a lecture titled Whiteness from a, a Problem of Our Time. And in it, they made lots of generalizations about people based on their skin color. So I disagreed with this, and I said that there needed to be an alternative opinion. And what followed, I could never have predicted, but it was like two years of... of, of uh, bullying, victimisation, telling me that I'd been inappropriate, that I shouldn't enter the profession, and eventually they stopped me from my clinical work. So I'm still kind of essentially cancelled from the profession. It's and quite, I'm, that's quite yeah. astonishing. I mean, so they were at one point, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but they were effectively saying that unless you as a white person admit that you are racist, you can't be a psychotherapist. Well, they're, they're essentially saying that you can't disagree with critical race theory, which is what, what you've described. So I was advocating for the colourblind approach to race, which is that not judging a person by the colour of their skin and treating everyone equally. And they said that that was discredited and outdated and that I needed to be on board with, with their ideas. Um, and what in was just essentially repeatedly telling me that I'd caused trauma, that I was inappropriate, that I shouldn't enter the profession, and now I'm having to bring about a lawsuit against them just to protect my, my beliefs in the colourblind approach, essentially. Uh, so, Dr Carol Sherwood, can I ask you about that? Because the idea that uh, Martin Luther King's ideal of colourblindness, of treating everyone the same, irrespective of their skin colour, is now considered outdated mm. by the, this particular clinic, by the NHS. Mm. Isn't that frightening? It is frightening, Andrew. And my um, Freedom of Information survey that I did of UK clinical psychology courses a couple of years ago showed that this worldview has been adopted. It's widespread in clinical training programs and in the NHS more generally. And so it's a real concern that the future generation of therapists are being trained to see the world through identity politics. Now, how would that affect a patient? If they're talking about privilege and obsessing about privilege and someone, a patient, say a patient is white mm. and they encourage them to focus on that when they're suffering from all these other forms of trauma, mm. that's getting it entirely backwards, isn't it? It is, and it's completely unethical. Um, but this is what is going to happen. We know this because it's actually happening in the States. Yes. So you will be a straight white man going for help. Perhaps you're really depressed and anxious about losing your job. And what you will be told is, well, uh, what can you expect? You are a straight white man. You, you are at the root of your own problems. You're patriarchal um, and you're a racist. How is that ethical? I mean, this is unbelievable. So, I mean, the idea that it's so deeply embedded mm. that they're going to uh, promote this divisive idea within the NHS, I just think is absolutely shocking. Mm. Uh, what is their defence for this, Amy? What, what, what are they suggesting? suggesting what's their side of the story well as i explore in the documentary what what happened many many years ago was that there was a fusion of psychoanalytic ideas with with critical theory which is a marxist project so what we've seen is that there's been a politicization of psychology in general so they, they really believe this they they believe that the answer to all of our problems is a kind of a communist revolution um that, that they're true believers in that sense um and there's no arguing with them otherwise um so they they would they believe in things like unconscious 
unconscious bias. So if you would disagree, for example, I disagreed with the concept of white privilege. So they would argue that I'm disagreeing because of a, a, a psychological defense mechanism that means that I don't want to admit my own racism. That, that, that's the kind of argument that we see with people like Robin DiAngelo or critical social justice psychologists or psychotherapists. That if you disagree with an idea, it's not because you thought about it rationally and logically and you've looked at the evidence and you've come to a conclusion. It's because your unconscious doesn't want to admit certain things. So what we're seeing is a weaponization of psychology and psychological concepts more broadly um, for, for political gain, essentially. That's, that's how I see it. And Carol, I mean, that, that, the way that that's been outlined is, 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 is absolutely chilling. Because we see this now in all areas of life, where you are expected to be uh, politically in lockstep mm. to whatever the authority figures within any given institution believe. Mm. What happened to uh, diversity? What happened to living in a plural society, in a liberal society? Exactly. And what we're finding, certainly with training courses, is that the trainees are expected to conform to this worldview. If any of them try to speak up, they're silenced, they're told they have privilege and they must shut up. And so they're not actually getting a proper training. Mm. They, they're actually downgrading expertise. They're told we are going to be non-experts. Lived experience of mental health is considered more important a quality to have in order to work with people with mental health problems than having expertise. Well, you wouldn't want to go and see a surgeon, would you, who actually said to you, well, um, actually, I don't aim to be an expert. Uh, you, it has consequences. It's an equivalent, isn't it? Absolutely. It, it mm. is. So, so, Amy, you thought of making this documentary. And uh, uh, mm. where, how did this come about? Yeah, so I, I mean, I did an interview with New Cultural Forum about what happened to me in my legal case over a year ago now. Um, and I've sort of been involved with them going forward. Um, and they offered me the chance to do a documentary. I guess what I wanted to pose as a question was how, you know, in the last 10 years, we've seen more and more increasing conversations about mental health. We're always, we, we see a kind of therapy speak dominating our culture. We're always talking about psychological concepts and so on. And yet we, see, we don't seem to be getting happier. And if anything, the society, our society seems to be getting a bit madder. Mm. I mean, we're seeing, you know, in terms of free speech, which is something I know you, you care about strongly, we're seeing kind of weaponization of psychology where if you disagree with someone, you will be told that you've caused them trauma or you've caused they need a safe space for, their, for, for psychological harm or they, they need trigger warnings to prevent themselves from experiencing psychological harm. This goes against the ethics of and all the, the evidence of psychology which, which would teach resilience that you need to expose yourself to different ideas and different you know, things that you're scared of in order to, to strengthen yourself. So this is fundamentally anti-scientific. It's anti-scientific, anti-therapeutic. Um, and as I say in the documentary, what's happened is there's been an increasing amount of ideology entering into psychology. There's a history to that, but we've seen it most sharply with um, the medical scandal happening at the Tavistock. Yes. Um, which, you know, people are saying, oh, we've got all this awareness of mental health, how could this happen? And my documentary tries to explain that, essentially. I, I understand. Now, Carol, so you, you're starting your own campaign. This is your Save Mental Health campaign, which is obviously related to these issues. Can you tell us just a little bit more about that? Yes, indeed. Um, it's an alliance of psychologists and psychotherapists, researchers and academics. And we're all sharing our concern about the madness that we're seeing in our professions. And we want to actually restore some sanity to mental health care. And so we want to actually make public our concerns. We have some really troubling stories uh, of what is happening in the professions. So we want to make those public. Uh, we also want to put pressure on uh, government, on politicians. We're actually working with the Free Speech Union um, because we're concerned about the effects of cancel culture on people's mental health. Mm. Um, and so they're hoping that we can do some research with them about that. Fantastic. Well, where can people find out more about this? Go to our website, which is Save Mental Health UK. And if you are on X and you want to follow us on X, we're at Save MH UK. Thank you very much. And Amy, very uh, finally, could you just tell us where can we see your documentary? So my documentary is on YouTube. It's called Trans Racist and Woke, How Psychology Went Mad. It's with New Cod Forum. And you can find more about my legal case at GoFundMe uh, forward slash Stand Up to Woke. But if they go to the New Culture Forum website mm. on YouTube, it'll be right there for yep, them to see. Yep, that's right, yep. Fantastic. Uh, Amy and Carol, thank you both so much. Thank you.